All right, day two, peak two, well, peak one of day two. We're gonna do Hoyt Mountain with uh, George's Gap Trailhead. Uh, you already saw the drone footage, or you're gonna. There's the duck. And we're gonna go up and over that, and then to the other side, I think. So uh, we have some hiking to do. Drone footage will show you how steep this is. You can look at the elevation profile on uh, GA, Gaia, whatever it is. Sun's in my face, yep. Um, but now we gotta get up over to that peak over there, which isn't that much further. We're almost there, so it's a short hike. I think they said a mile and a half, but it uh, is definitely steep and loose. I would not do this without my trekking poles. Um, you know, seriously, had to dig in pretty good and some good shoes. So, uh, with, oh yeah, and uh, Josephine Peak, there's a fire lookout, which you probably cannot see. And then Strawberry, which we were on top of yesterday, is, well, let's see if I can do it this way. Strawberry Peak is right there. And Lawler, which we didn't get to hit, is right there. So Strawberry, Lawler, Josephine. And, uh, yeah, so let's go do Hoyt. All right, where to activate? Check this out. Well, there's somebody's fort. Or camp. Pretty genius uh, use of the yuccas here. That way, uh, keep the critters out except for the snakes. So, looks like a, you know, nice natural barrier. If you're worried about mountain lions or bear, I wouldn't worry about bear too much right here. But mountain lions, possibly. I saw some deer tracks up here. This will keep them out, but man, with all these rocks and stuff, recipe for rattlesnakes, definitely the spiders and scorpions, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Looks like I haven't been used in a while, a long while, but. Well, maybe we'll use this to stick the pole in for our, our push-up pole. All right, so uh, we're not gonna use that after all. I see a place over here with some uh, flat rocks and it's just, I don't know, it looks better. Uh, it's only half a mile. Guy, I said uh, half a mile. Got a lot of these uh, little, these yuccas, by the way. Uh, these bad boys right here. If you live in Southern California, you know what those are. The Indians used to use these right here, these little tips, and then they'd string it out and then use them to sew with, I don't know, the chew mash or something like that, Indians down this area. But when they poke you in your leg, it stings like all day, or your hands or anywhere else. But these things are everywhere. You can kind of see them. All those green things right there, like landmines, um, ankle biters too. So um, you want to try to avoid those. But I'm going over this area. I see a flat rock. Uh, so kind of give you a look around, try to figure out. I want to do it. Nice little setup right here, maybe. We'll try this. All right, I love it when a plan comes together. Uh, it's 8.36. I put my alert in for 9 o'clock, and uh, I am all set up and ready to go. I've got 7.260. I'm going to listen to it for a while. It's clear. Um, everything's plugged in. I set everything up last night. Uh, I'll show you the setup right now. Naturally, the KX2. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Unfurl this bad boy a little bit with RG174. The trekking pole. Kind of just got it fashioned on here with a little bit of the Velcro strap and uh, VNC connector here. Just a couple feet off the ground and and that is pointing in a north to northeast orientation, mostly north. Um, and I think I'm getting APR message. Yep. 
APRS messages are coming in. That's good. And I think we got a little bit of cell service. So, uh, well, there's Camp HQD for the next hour. Maybe hour. Yeah, probably an hour. And then I'm going to get off here and go do, well, shoot. Uh, that peak over there, I think. One of those two over there. Somewhere over there. Maybe that one over there. Anyways, let's do this. November, November Whiskey 7 Echo. Do you copy Kilowatt Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, over? Yeah, you're 5 and 5, 55 in Central Oregon, over. QSL the 55, that's 55 both ways, 55 both ways, QSL. QSL the 5 and 5, thank you very much, happy New Year, Merry Christmas. 73 and Merry Christmas to you, KG6, HQD, QRZ, Summit's on the air. November Sierra 7 Papa, how you doing Phil? Go ahead. Doing great and uh, I hope you're doing well too. You're um, uh, about a 4-4, 44 in uh, the little bit short, number. Roger, Roger, the 44. You're a 53, 53. QSL? QSL 5-3, thanks and uh, Happy New Year. 73, Happy New Year. KG6, HQD, QRZ, Summit's on the air. So I oriented the antenna north-south instead of east-west, trying to get some stations off the broadside of the antenna. And uh, no love right now, so let's just keep trying. We'll have to try 20 meters here in just a second. All right, let's crank the, uh, the power back up. Kilowatt Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6 HQD, calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. Kilowatt Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6, HQD calling, CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. Kilowatt Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6, HQD calling, CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. All right, KG6 HQD, last chance for 40 meters before I go to 20 meters. Going to QSY to 20 meters. Anybody else out there? KG6 HQD calling. Final call for CQ20 Soda. CQ20, CQ20 Soda. Summit's on the air. Any station, anywhere. Please come now. We got two. All right, we'll QSY. All right. I've been sitting here for I don't even know how long anymore. Uh, probably 20 minutes, maybe. I don't know. Just trying to figure out what's going on with my radio. It's like stuck in a data mode. So, if you can hear it, it's like a data mode, but you look to the top right of that screen, it says upper sideband. It says nothing about data mode that I can see. And I've tried everything. I even got the manual going on the phone. And I'm uh, getting a little frustrated now. I got two contacts on 40 meters, but I got to figure this out and get this thing out of data mode because this this <laughs> this isn't going to work. So I don't know what I punched to make this happen, but I got to fix it. All right, I think I fixed it. What we had was uh, <laughs> I don't know how, but the uh, the bandwidth was narrowed down to about 0.20. And that made it sound like data mode because it was compressing it so much. It was so thin. Stupid. That took probably 45 minutes to figure out because uh, it kept. It sounded like it was in a data mode. But anyways, we got it up and running now, so we're gonna try 20 meters. You think it's my first day playing with this radio? Kilowatt Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6 HQD calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air. Norway Kilo 6 Alpha. 
NK6A, how are you? You got a great signal. Well, I'm just uh, probably eyeball down here near Santa Monica, and I'm quite surprised to uh, make contact with you, I guess, on ground wave. Uh, I've had a heck of a time the last few days reaching anybody uh, local. KG6HQD, do you copy Kilo X-Ray 6 Alpha? Kilo X-Ray 6 Alpha, I've got you, go ahead. Hey, thanks for the contact, you're like a 2222 on 20 meters uh, line of sight, but I can hear you in the background. Yeah, copy, I uh, just had to turn down the preamp, it was blowing out my uh, eardrums, it was pretty hot, so KE6A, uh, you're 59 plus, copy the 22. Hey, thanks so much, uh, glad for the contact, uh, enjoy the rest of the day, 73. All right, thank you. Yeah, you make number four, and I kind of had some technical difficulties I was working through, so <laughs> I'm happy it's activated. Thanks for coming out. Whiskey Zero, Mike November Alpha. Good morning, Gary. How are you? A QSL, QSL, you're not so here. You're about two by two today. Two by two, two by two, Kansas, QSL. Roger, copy the two two. Give me again, let me look at my meter. All right. Uh I'm gonna be honest, this is uh this is pretty steep. I would not do this without trekking poles. I may even end up on my butt a couple times. It's loose. Um, it's not too too long of a journey going down this. You can't even see the lip because it's going to drop off so much. But uh, it's for sure steep and loose. So I'm going to take it nice and easy. All right. I'm hoping I got something better. I came up over here. Um, but I see a trail right here. So I'm hoping maybe I just didn't follow the trail on the way up because going up it's harder to see these things, but going down I can see the trail better. So fingers crossed uh, that's the case. It'd be easier so I'll fall. Wow. Yeah, if you're gonna do Hoyt Mountain, uh, it's very steep, it's very rocky, very slippery. It's only a mile and a half, but uh, that's one of the tougher ones I've done for a mile and a half and four points. So it's doable. Um, aside from my technical difficulties on this one, but uh, I'm glad that one's over actually, so let's go do another one. <laughs> 